Hello boys and girls. This month is Hispanic Heritage Month and in recognition of that in this series of videos we're going to be taking a look at the lives of several special Hispanic Americans and learn more about the sacrifices and contributions that they've made to this country. Hello History and Heritage Explorers. We are still here at Fort Sam National Cemetery and I'm standing at the gravesite of Lucian Adams who won a Medal of Honor during World War II. So let's learn more about his story. Hello History and Heritage Explorers. Today I am going to read to you about Lucian Adams. Lucian Adams was born on October 22, 1922, Port Arthur, Jefferson County, Texas. Lucian was one of 12 children in his family. He had three sisters and nine brothers. Lucian attended Webster and Franklin Elementary Schools in Port Arthur as well as Thomas Jefferson Junior High School. But times were tough and he dropped out of high school to help support his family. When the United States entered World War II after the surprise attack on the Pearl Harbor Naval Base in Hawaii, Lucian went to work at the Consolidated Ironworks, a company that manufactured landing crafts and warships. After 18 months building landing craft just like the ones that would carry him into battle in Italy, Lucian enli enlisted into the United States Army in February 1943 at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. Lucian was sent to Camp Butner in North Carolina for basic training. He remained at Camp Butner until November 1943 and then went, was sent to Europe. Adams distinguished himself during the Italian campaign. The Texan hit Anzio Beach with the 3rd Infantry Division in January 1944. While fighting on the beach at Anzio, he was credited with neutralizing a German machine gun nest and was wounded in combat and would receive the Purple Heart. For his actions at the Anzio battle, Lucian was awarded the Bronze Star on May 23, 1944. On August 15, 1944, the 3rd Infantry Division came ashore in southern France. In late October, the division faced stiff enemy resistance in the Vosges Mountains in eastern France. Reinforced with fresh troops familiar with the terrain, the Germans succeeded in moving into the 3rd Division's defenses in the forest and cutting its supply lines. Assigned to a company in the 13th Infantry Regiment, Lucien's unit was given the task of reconnecting the supply line near the village of St. Die and re-establishing contact with two companies that had lost contact with the rest of the battalion. Carrying a borrowed Browning automatic rifle, Lucian began walking with his men down the road, which was heavily wooded on both sides. They had advanced just 10 yards be before the German machine gun opened fire, killing three men immediately and wounding six others. The rest of the men, except Adams, took over. Lucian pressed forward, moving from tree to tree, straight through the enemy fire to dispatch the first gunner with a grenade. When another German popped up from a foxhole a few yards away, Lucian killed him with fire from the bar. Charging into the fire of the second machine gun, he neutralized its gunner with another grenade and forced its two supporting infantrymen to surrender. He then ran deeper into the woods, killing five more Germans. He then began taking fire from the third machine gunner who missed Lucian's. Lucian didn't. He killed the gunner and by the time Lucian finished his one-man rampage, he had cleared the woods of enemy soldiers. Lucian's men began calling him the Tornado from Texas. After the action, Lucian was told by messenger that he was recommended for the Medal of Honor. Since he had heard the same thing at Anzio, Italy, 
when he single-handedly destroyed a German machine gun position. He didn't pay too much attention and continued on with his unit, fighting their way into Germany. In the spring of 1945, Adams received orders to go home to be awarded the Medal of Honor by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Before he left, however, President Roosevelt died. Lucian Adams earned the Medal of Honor for his heroics in combat and took place near, that took place near St. Die, France, on October 28, 1944. Staff Sergeant Lucian Adams, Medal of Honor, citation, reads as followed. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty on 28 October 1944 near St. Die, France, when his company was stopped in its effort to drive through the Mord Mordgain Forest to reopen the supply line to the isolated 3rd Battalion, Sergeant Adams braved the concentrated fire of machine guns in a lone assault on a force of German troops. Although his company had progressed less than 10 yards and had lost three killed and six wounded, Sergeant Adams charged forward, dodging from tree to tree, firing a borrowed bar from the hip. Despite intense machine gun fire, which the enemy directed at him, and rifle grenades which struck the trees over his head, showering him with broken twigs and branches, Sergeant Adams made his way to within 10 yards of the closest machine gun and killed the gunner with a hand grenade. An enemy soldier threw hard hand grenades at him from a position only 10 yards distant. However, Sergeant Adams dispatched him with a single burst of bar fire, charging into the vortex of the enemy fire. He killed another machine gunner at 15 yards range with a hand grenade and forced the surrender of two supporting infantrymen. Although the remainder of the German group concentrated the full force of its automatic weapon, fire in a desperate effort to knock him out, he proceeded through the woods to find and exterminate five more of the enemy. Finally, when the third German machine gun opened up on him at a range of 20 yards, Sergeant Adams killed the gunner with bar fire. In the course of the action, he personally killed nine Germans, eliminated three enemy machine guns, vanquished a specialized force which was armed with automatic weapons and grenade launchers, cleared the woods of hostile elements, and reopened the severed supply lines to the assault companies of his battalion. On April 22, 1945, Lieutenant General Alexander Patch presented the Medal of Honor to Staff Sergeant Adams and four others in a ceremony at Zeppelin Stadium, Nuremberg, Germany, the same location of Adolf Hitler's Nazi rallies. Before the ceremony, army personnel covered the swastika symbol on top of the stadium with an American flag. Minutes after the ceremony, army engineers removed the flag and blew up the swastika. Lucian died in San Antonio on March 31, 2003. Lucian Adams was buried with full military honors at Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery in San Antonio. A stretch of Interstate 37 in San Antonio is named the Lucian Adams Freeway in his honor. Well, boys and girls, I hope you like this. Thank you.